this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about Ubuntu Touch, the latest OTA 7 release. And I'll also be going over a, all the games you can play on Ubuntu Touch itself. So to start here, now you can change uh, different keyboard themes. So this is an example of some of the themes you can use, um, which is a nice little neat feature. And then here you have uh, more fixes to the Morph browser, which uh, you can read about uh, when I post the link in the description below. One other big update is that the OS now works on the Nexus 7 tablet, which you can read more about here. Probably one of the nicer uh, updates as well is that um, it seems that they've updated LibHybris, and basically what that will allow is that It'll allow orders to much more easily port uh, Ubuntu Touch on, especially on devices that launched with Android 7.1. That's pretty much it in terms of the general summary of what's been updated here. A lot of it is, again, under the hood that you can't really see, but these updates are coming a lot faster as well. So I'm going to put a link to the blog post in the description below. All right, so before we get into the games, I do just want to show you the setting for the keyboard themes. So if we go to the language and text, this is where it's hidden here. Keyboard theme, there's many you can choose from. Right now I have just gray, which I guess I can show it off as well. As you can see, this is how the keyboard looks and works perfectly fine for me. So, moving on to the games here, one of the more recent games that came out, Tux Dungeon. You can hear that, it's got its own music. Yeah, the premise of this game, it's kind of like an RPG, you could say. Maybe not, but... But the point is to navigate these floors and... Um, find the ladder, but along the way you may encounter enemies and gold, you could say. Here's an enemy, you tap on him. And use the gold to upgrade your character. So it took me a while to find the ladder. Sometimes you'll find the ladder pretty quickly. When you click on it, you can go to the next level. That's generally the basic premise. Your, this is your character. You have various stats. Yes, leave dungeon. This is where you can buy new characters. I almost have the, the strongest one there. But all right, um, one other fun game. Is this one eight one nine two? Um, and the point of this game is to create a box that has the number eight one nine two. As you can see, they start adding up here. If you have like a pair like twos, two twos there, and then you swipe right, it's gonna combine them to four. Um, and this is kind of addicting because you can just click anywhere and and combine numbers. Um, I actually did have, or did go over 8,102. Um, I think that file got erased, but I got to that level. And a fun little game that, um, you know, you can enjoy and pass the time. And there's another game called Balls 2, which is a fun game. I think it's somewhat similar to Candy Crush or it looks the same. But the point is to to connect like um to combine balls in three pairs. So it's recommending I move it up. It's gonna flip these two here. And whenever there's three, it'll combine them. Again, it's a fun game, has 
nice graphics, you could say. Um, there's a chess game here you can play. For those that are a fan. New game has white. And there you go. Pretty basic chess game. Um, and there's, I'm not going to go over all of them. There's the Connect 4 games. I have two of them there. But I won't go over that because we got a lot of games. Um, there's a Brick Breaker or Paddle Warrior game that's actually neat. I think this may be a web game just because in the top part it tries to load like an actual um, web site. It's got nice music. Kind of hard to play. I'm like, should it be going that slow? Let me close it and start it again. So that there could be something with that. Um, probably the biggest game that I enjoyed here was called Machines vs. Machines. Again, good music. It's a tower defense game. You can build your tower, a basic cannon, some electricity here. Yep, this game I beat um, when I had an earlier version of Ubuntu Touch. We do not need roads. This is also kind of a fun game. You can. Whoa, I lost. You gotta go in between the bricks. And you can kind of control. And just try not to crash here. We got pretty good at this game. I had a pretty good record. I'm gonna try to lose on purpose. Alright. And I guess to end this list, I also wanted to mention... The last but not least, the Lions game. Of course, you know how this uh, particular game works. Um, again, none of these games in itself are, um, they're not too great. Some of them are pretty good, but the main selling point of Ubuntu Touch OS is that it's free and open source and doesn't uh, data mine you. Other than that, there's plenty of more games to choose from in the open store. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can see what else is available. And um, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on all the socials. And I will see you guys next time.